For the first time since a scathing grand jury report, defeated public defender Matt Shirk has admitted he broke state ethics laws. He could now face a fine and a public reprimand. The I-team's Lindsay Gardner has been following the Shirk scandal for the past four years and is joining us now with an update. Lindsay? Well, Tom, now that Shirk is admitting fault and willing to take punishment, the new agreement with the State Ethics Commission, I found out, could also impact his law license. Matt Shirk may be out of office and out of the public eye, but he is not out of trouble. Four years after Shirk came under fire for hiring two waitresses from a local bar with no legal experience, he finally admitted today that by hiring them, he violated state law. In this four-page filing with the State of Florida Commission on Ethics, Shirk also admitted he engaged in inappropriate workplace interactions and broke the law by wrongfully terminating them. You may remember the inappropriate emails and texts that were the subject of the grand jury inquiry, including this e-card he sent to an employee that read, I think if we had sex, there would be very minimal awkwardness afterwards. At the time, Shirk was a married father. In the filing, Shirk also admits that he served and or consumed alcoholic beverages in his city office. And he broke attorney-client privilege by sharing confidential information with media in the Christian Fernandez case. At the time, he was Jacksonville's youngest murder suspect, later convicted of killing his younger brother. Shirk openly talked about the case with the documentary film crew. Shirk is now agreeing to a $2,500 fine, a public censure, and reprimand telling the Ethics Commission he understands the seriousness of the allegations and gives his assurance that this proceeding has affected the manner in which he conducts himself as a public official in a positive way. I also called the Florida Bar and they told me today's developments will enter into their case, which is still pending. The Bar is the governing body that could take action against Shirk's law license, including a suspension or, in fact, taking it away entirely. Well, how about the reprimand? How does that happen? Who does it? It would actually come from Governor Rick Scott in an executive order, but first, the full ethics commission has to vote to accept today's preliminary agreement. That vote is going to happen a little later this month, and of course, we'll keep you posted. Thank you, Lindsay.